Hi Taurus, welcome to your new love reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, this is still the singles love reading. I just changed the title a little bit from singles to new love. So this is still intended for singles wondering when they may meet somebody new. It could be your next date. It could be your next uh, encounter, significant relationship however that means for you. If you are connected to somebody but you're not together so you do consider yourself single, that's totally fine. That energy may or may not come out here. This is a general collective, not um, a private reading. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. And it is possible I could pick up on a past energy. I mean, that is always possible, so take it how it resonates for you. Um, and let's see what else I was going to say here. So this is intended for singles. Um, I do offer, I do have love connection readings on my channel. So if you are connected to somebody, whether you're together or not, feel free, especially if you're new, to watch those. Um, of course, all the April's already been out um, and the May's are out too. So I'm recording this actually the end of April. So um, the May's are out. So you can watch all the May love uh, readings. They're sort of like love connection readings. Uh, but you're more than welcome to watch this too. You can find the links below in the description box for your general and love playlist. So I consider them timeless. If you love, like to go back and watch uh, past readings, feel free. So let's see what we get here for Taurus. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are familiar with my singles readings I had done, I did the energy of the person and then I looked at, um, I clarified that energy and then I looked at like, when, uh, where, how you may meet them, when, like a time frame, and then what kind of connection it would be. It's going to be still similar, but just a little bit different. I'm going to still look at their energy and clarify it, but then I'm going to look how at how you may feel like, about each other, what kind of connection it could possibly be, what challenges, uh, obstacles um, could be in the way, and then advice, guidance, maybe possible outcome. So if you like this style better, you can leave me some comments below, or if you have any suggestions or whatever here. I'm open to anything, so feel free to comment if you like to. And please be polite. <laughs> Any negative comments or rude comments or complaining comments will be deleted. So, all right. So, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female for the General Collective. So, with this deck here, I'm going to get one oracle from each deck. With this deck here, we'll sort of look at their energy, what kind of energy they're sitting in. And then with this deck, we'll get like their spirit soul energy. Like what is their spirit and their soul kind of like, energy like. And then we'll get their love energy with that uh, deck. And I'm going to get into the tarot. All right. So let's see for Taurus singles. New love. Next encounter. Next date. Next significant relationship. So what is this new person coming into Leo? Now I know it's dated from May and I know we're still in quarantine doesn't necessarily mean this is going to happen in May. It could be future energies. It could be three months from now, a year from now, when, you know, whatever. If it resonates, if you feel like it resonates for you. All right. So for Taurus, new love singles. What is this person's, I'm not feeling that one, energy like? I'm going to pull the three here and then I'll go over those three then we'll get into the tarot so what is this person's soul spirit energy like for taurus please thank you so much sun moon rising venus male or female new love incoming love the next person no it may not even be the next person it could be your next significant some it could be some it could be your next um significant relationship or someone that you may fall in love with so however resonates for you all right so let's get love energy love energy of this person for Taurus spirit please thank you so much what is the love energy of this incoming new person for Taurus spirit please one card thank you so much the love energy like wow okay <laughs> that went flying on the floor let me get that. All right. Sorry about the squeaky chair. All right. Let's see what we have. Manifest. Oh, this is somebody who can manifest new beginnings for themselves, whether in career or anything here. Someone who's not afraid 
to start something new, try something new, manifest new things. So we'll see where this energy goes. Hopefully they're not a manipulator or anything like that. So, you know, this is about manifesting new beginnings for yourself in some way, shape, or form. So it's a good energy so far. We have Kuan Yin, compassion, release judgments about yourself and others, and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So this could be someone who's very caring, compassionate, uh, peaceful. They may be spiritual. They may pray, meditate. Um, it says to release judgments. So I'm not, I mean, they could be judgmental, but uh, I'm not really getting that. They could be very intuitive also. I don't, I feel like they don't really judge others. And I'm getting like an energy to like to help, like to help others too. This could actually be somebody who is like an entrepreneur that actually helps people like kickstart their own businesses, like an entrepreneur kind of energy that likes to help people, uh, motivate people, get them going, uh, do things in their life. They could be someone who does some sort of motivational work with people. I'm getting that with the hands. Uh, uh, so that's kind of a good energy. All right. Let's see here. We have spend some quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. 46 is 10. Tens are about completions, but then there's always a new beginning. So I feel like this is somebody who likes to, when they're in a relationship, they like to see how far it can go. It likes, they like to see like what the full potential is of a relationship. I don't think it's someone who is just going to like, okay, this is too much or um, I'm not going to invest in this anymore and just leave. I think they're going to stay until they feel like, okay, it's not going anywhere or it's, you know, it's gone to its highest potential and there's isn't isn't any more growth or expansion or whatever here. I think they're re, re, I think they're really especially with that manifest really when it comes to love they really want really really want to work on it. They want to stick it through. They want to see it through to the end. They want to you know stay with it as long as they can. Willing to work on it. Really get to know each other. You know spend time together. And I think relationships are really important uh, for this person. So they may like to spend a lot of time with their person also. I'm not getting like a clingy or needy kind of person, but I think um, quality time with their person of interest, their love is very important to them also. Um, and I don't, you know, with the 10 is completion. It doesn't mean endings, but it's kind of like the 10 of cups energy. Like they want to see, does this have the pen potential to get me, well not get them, but go to the 10 of cups. So, you know, let's see where it goes. Let's see if we, you know, if this is my Ten of Cups person. So they're really, really willing to put the work in and stick it through. Wow. It's kind of a good energy, Taurus. All right. So let's see. And I think this person is kind of fearless. Uh, I'm getting like public, like they could speak in front of people. They could be like, or a business owner or a CEO or a vice president or something like that. I'm getting, cause I'm seeing like the um, podium there. So they could definitely could speak in front of people and they have no problems with that. I don't think they're shy at all. This person will not be shy. All right, so I'm not getting like obnoxious. They may be a little boisterous. That's kind of like the energy I'm getting. But yet they have a calm, compassionate energy within them also. All right. So you may see them as someone like boisterous and like uh, maybe even full of themselves. But deep down they have this ooey gooey, soft, you know, heart and they are very caring and compassionate. So they may appear as one way, but deep down um, that's not who they, well, it's not, not that that's not who they truly are, but. That's just one little part of them. And you may you may actually, whoops, sorry, take them the wrong way. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting. So let's see what we get here. Let's clarify this energy. Let's clarify this energy for Taurus, singles, new love, someone writing, 
Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, male or female. What is this energy, this new love? Nine of swords. Let's see. I hope you can't hear my stomach. It's like growling. Two of swords. Hmm, okay. Let me get all the energy out before I read what's going on here. Okay, I'm feeling these two. So you have the Page of Cups, and now we have the Sun, which is the best, best card in this deck. There's that Page of Cups. There's that caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate um, kind of energy I was talking about. I mean, we do have the Nine of Swords here, which does speak about stress, worry, fear, anxiety. I mean, we all have that. You know, sometimes it's just a little, sometimes it's a lot. Two of Swords, you know, it's kind of like an indecisive, you need to make a decision. But we do have the sun here, which is, you know, best card in the deck, success, victory, happiness, joy, healing, enlightenment, um, best, best card in the deck. All right, what else about this person? The energy. It's too many. Let's get one more. This person's energy, please. The emperor. Yeah, and I have felt that. No, they may have times when they feel, you know, stressed like any person, but I don't, I feel like with the Two of Swords here, they kind of put like a block to that. They're like, okay, I'm not going to stress myself out about this. I mean, we all have stress to some point, but I don't think they get overly stressed. I think they kind of put the swords up, you know, block that energy of say, okay, let me make a decision here on this. And they just stay in this calm, loving, peaceful nurturing kind of an energy. I mean, they could have a child because the page of cups, the fish in it, it could be about children. Also, it could be that they, they could be a single parent. Maybe that's got them a little stressed and anxious too. But I feel like there's someone that doesn't stay in this energy because we have the sun here and the emperor. The emperor, again, could be this business owner or somebody who is uh, in the public eye or um, something like that. So especially with the podium there, they're definitely someone that could speak in front of people in some way, shape, or form, or be a motivational leader in some way. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. I, I, I just feel like a big, boisterous energy, especially with the sun there. Very masculine. Um, again, you could be, you know, male, female watching this. They could be feminine, a lot of masculine energy, however that energy resonates for you. But we do have a divine counterpart here, uh, especially with the sun and the emperor. So somebody is really in their divine energy here. All right, so let's see for Taurus how you would feel. I'm going to put how you would feel about them here and how they feel about you there. And maybe we'll see maybe how you could come to meet this person. All right, so if you feel like the energies need to be reversed, you can do that. All right, so let's, whoop. So how will Taurus feel? I have something flip here. I guess not. Okay, I thought I had a card flip. Let's see how Taurus will feel about this person. We love coming in for Taurus. How will Taurus feel about this person? The High Priestess. So listening to your gut, your intuition about this person. All right, so let's get a few more. Right, these two. The Ace of Rods. Oh, you're going to feel uh, <laughs> attracted to them. And the star. Wow. So this is wishes. You're going to look at them like, okay, this is my wish, my dream. Like, <laughs> like. They're just a wish or dream come true, like too good to be true, because it's divinely guided energy with the star, um, healing, faith, hope, optimism, you know, good energy there with the star, Ace of Rods, fiery, passionate, new beginning. So there may be a lot of attraction that you feel towards them. You may not tell them that, though, with the High Priestess. So they could be a star, and I had said that. So they, this could be somebody that, uh, and it doesn't mean like a big, you know, superstar. I mean, they could just be you know, somewhat of a star um, in some way, shape, or form in their local community or something like that. Someone that shines bright, their energy shines bright. And I feel like they're going to be attracted here, but you may not, you may not say anything or tell them that. 
like right up front because the high priest is, you know, kind of secretive. All right, so let's see how this person, it could be something uh, under the stars at night. You know, maybe it's some sort of like more out of this uh, quarantine, something at night where they're speaking or they're doing something and you go and they're there and you listen to them or something or because we do have the stars there for at nighttime. This is at nighttime, something at nighttime. See how they would feel about you, the six of swords. So again, with the water and, and boats and that kind of energy. Okay, so let's get a few more. The seven of rods. Huh. All right, let's get one more. Let's get one more. And the three of pentacles. So they could be working. Like this is kind of like their work, whatever they do, where they are shining their light or they're a little bit of a star. It could be just like in their community or something like that. It could be near water uh, or something at nighttime. If that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> it may not make sense now, but <laughs> who knows? It may in the future. But, um, you know, the Seven of Rods is like a little defensive on guard or is fighting for something. The Six of Swords is about going to a better place, you know, a calm, peaceful place, leaving BS behind, and Three of Pentacles putting in the work. I think, I think they may be a little, um, a little conflicted, like not sure what to do. You, you may actually go speak to them first. I mean, the High Priestess is kind of secretive but you may not tell them that you like them but you may just go like strike up a conversation and they may be a little taken aback but then also be like oh you know who is this person so it's kind of conflicting energy like they may be a little defensive on guard like if you approach them but yet they also have also have an energy of maybe wanting to move it forward see where it goes put in a little bit of work here to see you know where it goes here so Hmm, okay. So I do have, uh, let's see here. Raj would be springtime, that's now, but that wouldn't make sense for now. Pentacles is fall. So I would say fall time, maybe. Or even winter, but I don't know. I'll say fall. Three months, three to six months. All right, so let's see. I actually see you reaching out to them. Maybe going up and asking them a question or something. Striking up a conversation. All right. So let's see what the blockages would be. The four swords. Somebody's going to have to think about this. So we do have the ten of swords. It's been coming out a lot here. And the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Wow. So the blockages here is somebody's been through, could be them. You know, maybe, you know, they did see a relationship out to the end because we did have the Ten and then the One. And, but the Ten of Swords is a painful, hurtful ending. So, and especially with the Three of Swords, a lot of pain. Seven of Cups, feeling a little disillusioned and confused. Options and choices. So somebody here. I, I'm not feeling it's you, Taurus. Um, could be them. And I'm only doing the signs, like if we get um, king or queens. And so far we don't have any because it would be too confusing because we have like every sign here anyway. But um, it could be you, Taurus, or them. Somebody is going to want to think about this because of some, some sort of painful, hurtful ending where their heart was deeply hurt, which left them a little confused about love, like not sure about love. I don't think I really want love anymore kind of energy. All right. So, and that could be why this person's defensive. It could be this person, uh, especially if you see them and you approach them, but you may not tell them, you know, you may not even flirt with them. You may just even go up and just, you know, ask questions, just strike up some sort of conversation. But I think they may be a little taken aback, but yes, I'll be in, also be in the energy like, oh, well, let's see where this goes strength so someone's going to need to muster up their strength here to be confident strong courageous and brave that's going to be a challenge for somebody 
uh, to see if they can, um, they have the strength to get into another relationship after an ending. So someone's going to have to think about it here and that's going to be a block and a challenge. So a lot of, wow. So let's see what advice, possible outcome for you, Taurus. Taurus, this new person. And especially with the sun there and the stars, this could be somebody who is like a local celebrity <laughs> or something like that, or a very well-known uh, business person or just well-known in their community. And they could be newly single, especially, you know, with the one there. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups. So this is love moving forward, love offer coming in, love moving forward, but yet holding back. So somebody still may hold back here, even though somebody may offer love or, or loving gestures or something like that. Somebody may still be holding back and be at a crossroads here. All right, what else? King of Cups. So someone is... Could be you, Taurus. <laughs> so now we have the King of Cups here, which could be uh, Pisces, King or Queen, doesn't matter. So we have a Pisces now. So I feel like someone's really going to have strong feelings for the other one, going to want to really express themselves or move this forward, but knows the other person is kind of blocked off and at a crossroads about love. So let's see, let's get a couple more. So should this person offer their love or offer something here or not, even though they do have feelings for this person. So here's balance, equal reciprocity, equal give and take, and balance. So let's get one more, whoops, five of cups. So this is like turning back on love over sadness Law. So somebody may offer love here, finally express themselves, and the other person may hold back, be at a crossroads. You know, someone may be longing for this equal give and take, but somebody may just turn their back and say no. Unfortunately, that's kind of what I'm seeing. So let's see what the Five of Cups is about. What is the Five of Cups about? Ten of Cups. Wow. Is this person going to turn their back on the Ten of Cups? Yeah, they may. They may. Even though they see, you know, when they, they know that when they get into a relationship, they want to see it through to its full potential. They just don't give up. And I don't think this person's going to be ready to do that. So they may turn their back and kind of sneak away from this, kind of, sort of. Um, but the other person, I think, is wanting, you know, this equal reciprocity and balance between the two. But somebody's still going to hold back here and be at a crossroads. So whether it's you, Taurus, or if you finally say, okay, you know, I like you, you know, can we, you know, date or whatever here, this person may refuse you, even though you you feel strongly for them. I hate to say that, Taurus, but you may be even like a little, uh, if they are like a local celebrity or somebody like it's well, really well known in your community or something like that or the next community whatever here you may be like um infatuated with them maybe and they may feel you're just infatuated with them you know because they're well known or whatever all right so we do have the page of swords at the bottom here so this could be you know spying on someone here or this is the open, honest, truthful communication and using that sword to sever. Someone going to hermit mode, going alone, retreating, walking away with the Eight of Cups. Someone's still stuck uh, between two worlds, closing out a chapter, you know, to start new chapters here with the worlds about endings and beginnings because of a toxic past here, something they've been through. They're not quite ready to see something through to its full potential. I feel like if they feel a strong connection, um, you know, they, they, like I said, they want to see it through to its full potential. They just don't give up easily. And I don't think they really have the energy to put in to a relationship to see it through to its full potential yet. But we do have the Ace of Swords here, which is like my Divine Clarity card, like the truth of the matter, um, truthful energy here. Yeah, someone's going to make a last judgment here, final decision. 
rush in or rush out kind of energy. That's kind of what I see. And really only the sign, only sign we got here for uh, king or queens was Pisces. So they could be a Pisces, but they could be little, literally any sign here. So I feel like <laughs> Ace of Swords, uh, truth, clarity. So I feel like if you get a little infatuated with somebody uh, who is a high status, you may want to kind of just um, kind of skip it because I don't really see it going anywhere, unfortunately. They may feel a little attracted to you or may think about it, but yet they got defensive energy here. Like they're going to be really stuck, not sure what to do. Okay, Taurus. Well, I wish I would have had a better reading for you, but this is what I see. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is always, always shine your light.